All right, folks. I'm out of my buddy Kevin's house. And I'm taking the, his grill in the large uh, seven quart uh, Dutch oven back. And I didn't even get a chance to use it before we left the penthouse suite because it's been raining every night and we went to the beach for two days. So we're gonna barbecue down at his house. But this old stroller has been a champion at hauling weight. That's funny. Folks, everywhere I go, everybody I pass are like, what's that? What's in there? What do you got? And first people I told, I'm making some soup. Then I told these ladies, I'm making calderetta. <laughs> too fun. All right, folks, I want to thank everybody for joining me on today's video. I think we're gonna do some barbecuing or some smoking. I'm not real sure. But hey, if you're not a subscriber on my channel, bottom right hand corner of your screen, hit that overstay road sign. Get on board my train. Certainly appreciate it. Okay, folks. Now I want to show you a couple pieces that my buddy Kevin has. Uh, this is the Lodge 7 quart uh, Dutch oven. Is that right? Okay, this is the 7 quart Dutch oven. You know, made by Lodge, made in America by the good folks down in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. And folks, if this is really what what I've been needing, this size, if you're going to make a big uh, soup or a stew or anything like that. I've been doing it in the 3.2 quart, but this thing right here is the absolute Mac Daddy. Uh, if you're going to make a big stew or a soup. And... I think this thing, well, I can't remember. I looked this morning at the Lodge website just to show everybody uh, how much it was in America, and I've already forgot. Uh, but again, the 7-quart cast iron Dutch oven. And then this, it doesn't come with this, but this is a separate piece. They just call it a, it's a trivet, right? Meat trivet. It's a meat trivet. And this meat trivet will fit down here in the 7-quart. Will it fit in the 3.2 quart? Yep. Okay, it fits in there too. It'll fit in a number 10 too. And a number 10 number as well. Number 10 is a, a camp, a, a camp uh, Dutch oven. It's got the legs. Okay, and so that's a good piece right there to uh, to put meat on. Um, and again, Kevin brought this over to loan it to me to do a cooking show, and it just rained pretty much every night, other than the, the nights we went to the beach. So we're gonna we're gonna have to use it over here at, at his place, uh, but I, some of you guys saw this in in my video yesterday, and I've been meaning to just do a good thorough review. But another great piece of gear. Now stand by for the most beautiful piece of lodge equipment they make. Now, folks, what what Kevin is saying is, if you, if you pick it up by the bell, this is the lodge sportsman grill. If you pick it up by the bell, it's kind of. <laughs> It's kind of uh, carries itself a little bit lopsided, so he puts this belt on here, and it's easier to carry it with the belt because it holds everything together. But while he's getting this taken apart again, this is the Lodge Sportsman it Grill. It's, it's, it's lopsided. Yeah, it's a little lopsided if you if you don't use the belt, and then obviously these pieces are removable, so if it's a little bit lopsided. But folks, again, I've been looking at this piece of gear for two years. Many videos I've threatened to uh, to bring in a new grill, and this is what I've been looking at. And they have it on Lazada at the flagship store, but they always go out of stock. And so what do we have here? A little door where you can add the coals. And it's got a grate down here in the bottom. And down here we have the... Uh, the draft door and that thing just sits right there I think I got it upside down it just sits right there and goes back and forth to uh, allow your draft to come in and out to, re to help regulate temperature but folks this thing is an absolute champion <laughs> but the problem on uh, Lazada is that they're always out of stock on the lot the flagship store they'll have a couple 
then they'll go, they'll go off of, of uh, they'll go out of stock they'll go on sale now typically on Lazada these are like 10,100 and something pesos but if you watch the promotions they'll be down to like 8 one 8100 pesos and I'll I'll put the prices from the from the store in the US but that is one sturdy piece of gear hey buddy how you doing man you doing all right all right folks so that was my buddy from alaska just rolled through and shout out to everybody uh everybody that works with him up in alaska and you guys are so in tune you caught his voice on my treasure island video uh but anyhow folks let me just get back to showing you this quick tour uh of the sportsman grill you know listen everything on this damn thing is solid i mean that is that is absolutely solid so you got the grate that goes on here you got the door to add it and then this thing can either sit with the legs or it can sit flat let's see i'll flip it over and show you it'll sit on here flat if you want oh if you want want it closer to the coals or you can just flip it over and get about another was that about a couple inches maybe a height and just add your coals right there that's your draft door and again it comes with a bell handle but Kevin's got the right idea just get you an old belt take the belt around it and tie it together because it does sit a little cock cockwise you know a little, little bit lopsided and you don't want this thing to fall off and hit you in the toe so the belt is a, is a great, uh, that's the way you need to do it if you're going to be carrying this thing around. And show you the back of it. It's just kind of smooth right there. But folks, this is, this is solid cast iron. Uh, everything on this unit is cast iron except for the handle. And I think it weighs, what is it, 40 pounds? I think it weighs somewhere around 40 pounds. This is a solid piece of gear, like all of Lodge's uh, uh, products. And so, like my buddy said, you, this is not something that's going to easily go in a suitcase and get carried around on the plane because it'd take up the whole the whole weight. But this thing will last a lifetime, and and so will that guy right there. So there you go, folks. Lodge Sportsman Grill. I'll put the links to the Sportsman, to the Seven Quart, and to the. 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker down in the description if you want to buy one click that affiliate link get you a great piece of gear and make me a commission I, i'll say i appreciate it up front all right folks now we're working with the smoker here and just tell us what you got what you got smoking in there my friend I wrapped, I put the cheese in uh, ladies' nylon stockings. Okay, so the cheese okay, so is in... The cheese, you can yeah. see, stays in the stocking. And it's got about another hour yet. Um, okay. Got, uh, hickory chips, and believe me, they're expensive here. Got hickory chips. Yeah, uh, hickory those are chips. Weber hickory chips. Uh, nice, low smoke. Uh, maybe 100, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so at 120. Okay, I even got my umbrella here in case it rains. Uh, He's got a setup, folks. Look, got an umbrella. Got an umbrella over the setup. If it starts raining, we're good. It's just one of my toys. Now, how long is it going to take us uh, to about smoke this hours. cheese? So I got another half hour yet, maybe. So about two hours. Yeah, about two hours. Uh, hundred. I'm smoking it low. Hundred and ten mm -hmm. to one hundred and twenty degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so 120 to one, uh, 110 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Low and slow. Low and slow. Low and slow is the way to go to smoke this cheese. You know, if, if and the smell coming off of that with those chips, folks, it's just a uh, man. It just smells good under this little tent. We got a little, we got a little canopy set up there in case it rains. Uh, but anyhow, shout out to Kevin, man. Thank you very much for showing me, welcome. showing me how this, uh, this little smoker here works, but. Too cool, my friends. Too cool. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I think they're ready, man. You think they are? Mm, well, this one here, I don't like it against the metal. But see, they're so basic, so easy. I did this in Montana. I had a 
My heat, my heat was over here in that great big long pipe that went yeah. to it. Out of an old refrigerator. We'll give it a few more minutes. Yeah. Got a little perfect. bit of dripping right there. Yeah, that's okay. It drip a little bit. And I just uh, try to not to touch, have them touch. Okay. And I pull them out. Okay, it ain't gonna hurt nothing to uh, just set them down here. Just cut these suckers. Just cut them off. Yeah, that's the best one. Like these scissors are like, had their better day, huh? You know, harden up a little bit. All right. All right. That's it. All right, folks, we'll, we'll let them cool down and then go on to the next yeah, step. What I'll do is I'll let it cool, then I'll refrigerate them. Okay. Give them about a day in the refrigerator. Right. And then I'll, I'll come in and I'll just peel that, that uh, nylon right off. So they go from here to cool down and then to the ref for a day or so. Yeah. yeah just chilling here with my buddy Kevin, showing me how to smoke this cheese. And I think now he's going in to get some meat to smoke. And I wish I could... Uh, I wish I could share with you the smell sitting under here. You know, it's not a whole lot of smoke coming off of there. You know, you put the charcoal down below, got it going. You know, got the heat kind of going and then hit it with some wet hickory chips. My goodness, underneath this canopy, it just smells delicious. Now, I have had some of this beef jerky before. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. And, you know, this, this ain't his first rodeo. He's been smoking meat and stuff for a long time, so he knows how to do it. Made some great beef jerky, and we're telling them, "Hey, man, uh, that that stuff's so good. You can sell, you can sell that in no time." But uh, and anyhow, on the cheese. So what he what he's gonna do? He let this cool down, then put it in the ref, and then uh, tomorrow he'll peel off the uh, the stockings, and then dip it down in the in the paraffin, where you can hang it up and just let it age. I thought he was going to do that today, so now he's going to put it in the ref, put it in the refrigerator for a day, then peel the stuff off, let it let it come up to room temperature, and then drop it in the wax. Folks, I'm not no expert on smoking meat, smoking cheese. I can smoke a cigar, that's about it. So I know everybody's probably got some little different uh, recipe or way of doing things. And, you know, if you don't mind, he'll share it down down in the comments for everybody else trying to trying to learn how to do it all right so we got the meat coming out let me get my get my uh, microphone turned around we got some more more stuff to do uh, they're marinated uh, with hickory smoke and let me tell you it doesn't take much just a little bit of hickory smoke oh, yeah this is man a cat so a cap full of hickory smoke, we got them marinated. Some hickory smoke and some Worcestershire. Hickory smoke, Worcestershire. Yeah. And I got some wet chips there. Go ahead and get that smoke on. Okay, some wet hickory yeah. chips, gonna That's smoke it up. I'm an old BT, I, I can raise smoke. I'm a boiler technician, we smoke a lot. So you know how to get okay, that smoke going. Dry. That now we want to raise it too. Just a little higher. Get a little, little bit higher temp. All right, so it opened up okay, the vent. Right now, you know, I like to get it a little higher for the meat. We'll, just, we'll, look, we'll let the temperature come up. And what temperature are you looking for uh, for the well, meat? You know, it, it, low and slow is the way to go. Right. It, it, when you're smoking anything. So low and now, slow. I've, yeah, folks, if you're wondering what, what this right. costs here in the Philippines, you can get that for around 5,000 pesos. About, about, about 100 bucks. For the smoker, there's, you can get a smaller one. Okay, maybe two uh, levels. Now, I had some... I had some uh, racks made. These I had made. Okay. Okay. So I'll pull them up. We'll slide them in there. If I can see. 
Oh yeah, so you fit in there perfect. Yeah, I had uh, my my maintenance man. Well, you gotta have a good maintenance man. There's a drip pan there, so it don't drip into the the, into the, the coals. Yeah. Okay. Right? It needs a little modification with that too. I just need haven't done it. Okay, so this is from a previous batch, and this is uh, this has been in the ref, right? Right, and basically it's, I, it, some guys use the nylon over again, I don't. I mean, it's what, it's cheap, you cut the nylon stocking, and you just peel it, peel it back. Oop. Takes a little finesse. Just peel it right off. Uh, and this is cheddar, smoke, hickory, cheddar cheese. All right, folks, there we go. So that's your finished product, but this is from a previous batch. Obviously, the ones that we just did are still are still chilling. Let me try that flavor right there. Mmm. Oh yeah, folks. This lost power. Yeah, I got a brownout going on. A little bit of rain rolling in here. That is some kind of delicious. I was telling him that would be wonderful on my creamy Diablo dish. If you haven't seen that video, folks, check it out. The creamy Diablo, absolutely delicious. If you like spiciness paired well with Jim Beam or Jack Daniels. Mm. That's some good cheese right there. That's some good cheese. Now let me give you a look at our cheese here has been cooling for about an hour. Just give me a look at it. Cooling down for about an hour. And Big Black Betty over there is still pumping out the smoke my friend. Still pumping out the smoke. Look at that. This is a loaf of cheesy. I guess it's sort of like Velveeta, right? Now he smoked that, and what we're talking about is it looked like it changed the molecular structure <laughs> of the cheese. And it's got a just a you know a mild smoky flavor to it. That's some good cheese. And that's only about a what about a 200 peso, about a four dollar block of cheese cheese spread like uh, like Belvita. Alright folks, this has been in here, I don't know, 45 minutes or so, what have you. And now, what he's going to do is flip it over. Alright. That's just a strips of beef there. And he's going to manually flip the strips of beef over. I'll give you another look here in the in the cooker a smoker so it's still it's still still going good oh yeah it's a wonderful smoker and folks the ladies the ladies showed up and brought the babies over here oh, what's that that's a beef or uh beef that's um, that's beef i beef. thought it's dark yeah. <laughs> beef jerky no, uh, because, not wait. turkey <laughs> jerky Jerky. That's what they call it. You're jerking um. the beef. You know, before refrigeration, this is how you uh, you you you, uh, you preserve for a long time because you have no refrigerator. Okay, so you, you understand, honey? Be before refrigerating, you had to before we had refrigerators, you smoke you smoke the meat so it would uh, it wouldn't go bad, right? Well. Now, folks, what happened is when uh, Kevin gave me some beef jerky, I brought it home, and I asked Fatima, I said, hey, baby, you want some beef jerky? You want to try it? Oh, no, no, no. Well, after I had ate all the beef jerky, she finally admitted to me that she thought I said it was turkey. <laughs> and she's never tried turkey before. And, you know, Filipinas are not very adventurous when it comes to new tastes. And so she... Well, 
yeah, she thought it was a turkey, and she didn't want any of it. And then later on, I finally convinced her that it's not turkey. It's beef jerky. Okay, so that right there. You see, that's, that's beautiful strips of beef, honey. And all he's doing is smoking it to basically dry it out. And he's got some spices and some flavoring on there. Okay, and you can... Uh, he said about a, about a couple hours okay and then uh, that's what that's what I was eating when you thought that it was a turkey now we do know where the gentleman has some turkeys we're gonna go buy the turkeys for Thanksgiving and you ladies are gonna eat some turkeys what you think Janice you like turkeys you ever eat turkey before huh you never eat the turkey Okay, well, we're going we're gonna to get some uh, turkeys for Thanksgiving coming up next few weeks, and we're going to eat some turkeys. But listen, a turkey is a big bird, right? It goes gobble, 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 gobble. But the jerky is what you just saw. It's beef. I have something for the girls. Oh, no. Kevin said he's got passing new ones for these ladies. Look at them, folks. They're collaborating. They said, "Oh my God, pass the lube on." Yeah, try try a piece of that cheese, right? I see that's that's real cheese. The yellow that's real cheese. Now the other one is the cheese. It still has a good flavor, but the the yeah, that's the real cheese. What you got? Oh my goodness! Coming in there with the with the microwave popcorn. And my friend, you don't even know, but we actually have a microwave. <laughs> Kevin just gave us a, an oregano plant. So the ladies, ladies got, got an oregano plant. Ladies, what you ladies buying? Look, my cheese. Oh, he ate that whole thing of cheese. Yeah, no, that fish. What you ladies buying? Chicken curry, gun, chicken curry. Yes. Chicken, cur chicken, oh, chicken curry. curry and coconut powder. Okay. Yeah. How much is how much is that for the video? Okay, no. One twenty. One twenty for three. Yeah. Oh, these ladies just pulled George Jessen, Jane Jessen on my ass. They said they want to buy a coke. They said they want to buy a coke, so I pulled out my water money. I handed them a twenty. And this one on. The one on the right grabbed my 200 pesos. That was a straight up Jane Jessen move right there. Hey, uh, baby, when I tried to give you 20 pesos and you grabbed 200, my goodness. I know, but you grabbed everything else in my hand. I think my mom's practicing to be homeless. Come here, baby. No. What you doing? She was looking. <laughs> she was looking over the trash. I didn't know what that was. Why is she looking at the trash can, Janice? You huh? some food and butter. Oh, she see the stress I'm on her. She see the stress I'm on her dealing with these ladies every day. My goodness, acting like they starving. Ain't neither one of these ladies starving. <laughs> 